Hello, good people. It's Tracy. And I'm Dan. And you're watching Midlife Memo on YouTube. Ta-da! Thank you for joining us today. Whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, we really appreciate you being here. We have got some fun. Uh, we were tagged by one of our friends, but first, but first, first, this is very important. Our cousin is having a very special day today, isn't she? Mm -hmm. And it is our cousin Tatum. It is her sweet 16th birthday, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> So, congratulations to you, my love. I love you so much. Happy birthday. Happy sweet 16, Tatum. We all love you. We do love you. And, unfortunately, she's a little sick, isn't she? Yes, she is. We are praying for you, darling. And we know that you'll be back to your good old self real soon. I hope that the next year of your life, is as amazing as you are. We love you, girl. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, I hope you got our card. Danny sent you a little something there. Anyway, so like I said, we got tagged by one of our good friends. She's from the Great White North, Miss Karen. Karen! She is known as the creator and the star of White Witch 110 on YouTube. The description below has the link to her channel. If you have not, because a lot of people have, if you have not checked her out, please go and check her out. And I know that you'll love her. She is an artist. She's a photographer. She is a writer. She's a crafter. She just does it's wonderful. I love her channel, and I love you, Karen. And Danny's over here yawning. He just got home from work not too long ago, and I say, we on film. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Stick around, because this is about to get wild. <laughs> okay. Danny, you want to read it, or you want me to? I'll read it. I can read better than you. <laughs> we'll look at our newest movie star. In theory. Who is it? Oh, that's the one that I put that crap on her for. Okay, don't pay any attention. She's in treatment. So, go with the number one. Oh, 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 this is called, and a lot of our friends have already done this tag. Um, it's called the Would You Rather tag. Mm -hmm. And so, let's do it real fast, Dan. Let's do it. Let's do it. Simmer down. Go! Would you rather stay up past midnight every night for a year? Or kiss someone at noon every day for a year. What are you doing? Are you going to answer? <laughs> I would rather kiss you every day. But yeah, only that... if it's you. I'm too old to stay up past midnight, y'all. If I stay up past midnight, I turn into a pumpkin. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the same thing. Um, uh, number two. Would you rather give up sweat for a year or give up showers, baths for a year? Sweat. sweat. <laughs> no, no, I sweat, sweat. I'll give up sweat. Okay, so number three. Would you rather spend the next week Tossing confetti on the heads of everyone you meet or honking your horn at them and shouting Happy New Year. Oh, there are so many people that already know the answer to this for me. <laughs> I'm going to throw confetti and run. Because, you know, them people's crazy out there. They're liable to shoot you. You know, I've, after thinking on this, maybe I would honk my hope my hornet people and and uh, shout happy new year why 
because it would give me all the attention I never got when I wanted it when I was little. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has turned into a therapy session. <laughs> okay, number four. Dolls. We're pausing. Number four. Number four. Would you rather be on a New Year's show with Ryan Seacrest or be on a float in the Rose Bowl Parade? Well, that was pretty, after my last comment, that was pretty easy for me. Uh, I'd rather be on a float in the Rose Bowl Parade. I'm going to go with a float in the Rose Bowl Parade because I don't really like Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> and I don't think I can stand being with him. Number five. Whatever it is, the next one. Number five. Would you rather live in Times Square for a year or live in the International Space Station for a year? <laughs> Look, Dan's fear of heights has just messed him up with this one. <laughs> I have to choose one? Yeah, I, you do. Well, Times Square is closer to, to the ground than the International Space Station, so I guess I'll go with that one. I'm going to the space station, baby. I got no problems with that. But, because I ain't living in the, what is it, Times Square? I yeah. want to go and visit, but I'm not, no. Uh-uh. No. I'm going to the space. He couldn't live in the space station, the International Space Station. He couldn't live there because of the heights, knowing that you're up that high. And I'll, Look, when we was at Dollywood, this is the last time we went to Dollywood, too, to any amusement park. We was fly we was on these little airplane things that sit side by side. <laughs> Tell it on you. And he knew that he did not like heights. I knew he didn't like heights, but it wasn't so far off the ground. I thought he could handle it. We got up there. They strapped us in with these metal bars and all this cushion stuff and belts and everything. <laughs> And we started swinging around, and, you know, that's all perfectly fine. Wasn't that all, you know, high? <laughs> then I noticed we were getting higher and higher and higher. Y'all, if I could have sprouted wings and flown, I'd have been out of that thing and back on the ground before you could blink. Wait, wait. You remember what you said to me? He said, if I could get out of this thing, I'd jump. <laughs> And I got scared because <laughs> I was afraid that you would figure out how to get out. Oh, it was awful. Oh, my gosh. You're going to make me cry. That Dan don't like. We were on the roof this weekend. Boy, this is turning into something else. <laughs> we were on the roof this weekend fixing it. And... I volunteered to go up first. <laughs> it took forever to get you up there. And he prayed several times. I mean, the man was absolutely, you know, nervous. <laughs> Bless its heart. Well, if I'd have got up there and started rolling, I couldn't have grabbed on to nothing. The only thing you'd have seen was me, oh. me flapping my hands, hoping I wouldn't hit the ground that hard. You remember when the ladder kind of slid and I said, I got the roof. <laughs> I would have held on by my claws. <laughs> and we was so sore the next day from climbing up and down and up and down. I bitched all day. <laughs> oh, Lord. It was awful. I don't want to have to do that again. We're going to call somebody to fix it. Anyway, so go to the next one. We've taken enough time. Would you rather wear a shirt tomorrow that has everything you did over the holidays on it or a list of everything you ate over the holidays? Has everything? Mm hmm That I know because there's some things I don't need people to know about. Uh, I guess eat. It'd be eat. Because I was, you know... Mm. Oh, shoot. What an eating anything crazy. Well, for me, it'd be uh, everything you did over the holidays, which was work, and get caught in a snowstorm. And hurt your leg and ankle. 
That was boogerish. For y'all who's been playing along at home, you know we thought it was broke. Anyway, the last one. Would you rather spend... What is that? Uh, well, let's find, let's find out. Oh, it's abbreviation. Uh, New Year's Day. Would you rather spend New Year's Day being invisible or spend the day being able to fly? <laughs> we all know the answer to this one, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because flying, that means I ain't touching the ground. And, uh, yeah, that's just not going to happen. It's killing me here. So I would rather be invisible. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. You know, I said I wanted to fly. That way I can just fly anywhere I want to. Uh, I'd have a whole day. New Year's Day. A whole day. I'd fly everywhere. The Lord fly to ten, uh, Texas. You know, you get enough altitude, you get there pretty darn quick. And if you could fly, then I'd be up. I, you know what? Let's not go into this because I will go down that rabbit hole. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway. Uh, that was only nine. I know that some others have got ten, so, but that's what I got. And we are supposed to tag some people. I'm going to tag Amanda Briarly, Mandy's Magic Moments. I'm going to tag Ignited Coyote. Um, I'm going to tag Tammy from The Lonely Dead. Uh, I'm going to tag Life in Bama, and I'm going to tag Becky Styles, and that's it. And I'm Dan, and I approve this message. <laughs> you get good. Okay. Anyway, so we want to thank our our friend Karen. She is like family to us. <laughs> Shut up, Danny. You do <laughs> Oh, Lordy. She is like family to us. She's like another sister to me. I just love her so much. And go check out her YouTube channel. And also, go check out Ignited Coyotes, Mandy's Magic Moments, uh, Becky Styles, Life in Bama, and Tammy from The Lonely Dead. Go check out their channels. They'll be linked down below. I really appreciate that. Um, and I know they will be glad to see you. Dan's still laughing. What are you laughing about? <laughs> that was funny. I don't care who you are. <laughs> now, if you would also like to do this tag, feel free to do so. I'm going to put a copy of the questions down in the description so it'll be easy for you to take a screenshot. Don't forget that you can see us. <laughs> see us. If you don't stop, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piss you off that chair. <laughs> You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Uh, and I'm going to go because I, he's got something wrong with him. We want to say a special hello to our granddaughters, Hadley and Lizzie. Mama loves you. And Papa loves you. Oh, my goodness. They're growing up on us so fast, aren't they? Yes, they are. You all are all just amazing little girls. And they've got some amazing parents because they just do. They know they're all awesome. And you're awesome, too. Thank you, guys, for joining us. And we'll see you next time on Hee Haw. <laughs> I don't know where they came We'll see you next time on Midlife Mammal. Dan, is there anything that you would like to say to the good people out there? No. All right. Say goodbye, Dan. See y'all. Bye. <laughs>